Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for the support and all of that. So today I've been to the local fish shop and bought all of my carbon, phosphate remover and polyfilters and done a good spring clean out of my fish tank. It's all looking absolutely perfect, but the main thing that I bought was this long tentacled plate coral. It's absolutely amazing. They had two of them there. They had one that was the size of a ping pong ball and this one here, I went for the larger one because um, uh, you've got a better chance of keeping it for a long time if they're bigger anyway. So I'll tell you a bit about it. Um, they live on the bottom. The, the, that's where they need to be put. Um, like with all corals, you need to make sure that you've got enough distance between this one and whatever you're putting it near to, you know, they will sting each other and they will kill each other so you've got to give them a bit of space you can see here I've got a good one two three inches uh, space here uh, feeding wise I've already put mysis in there and um, it's had a good uh, couple of bits of that and eating it I, I dare say the you can feed it quite regularly once or twice a week and it's one of them things that you can sit there and physically watch it for it eat, it eating um, since I made this video uh, it's probably grown a, a, another two, two inches so they do get big um, I had a choice out of this a short tentacled um, plate coral or a bubble tip anemone but you know I done my homework I stood there for a half hour I gambled everything and I chose not to get the bubble tip and enemy because I've got I, I haven't really got enough space you know and I don't really want to jeopardize my other corals that have been in there for a year or so so I chose this and I'm well happy and I definitely advise any beginners to get it once your uh, tank is all settled down after a couple of months and you've got all para your parameters and everything settled they're definitely worth considering buying 